This is going to be long, isn't it? Some of the new iPods, you can load up to 20,000 songs on them. Streams of videos, pictures, all on a thing this big. The technology in this country is staggering. And yet, uh, the government uh, can't get their computers to erase my client from the no-fly list, even though they admit he shouldn't be on it. Instead, anybody named Denny Crane can't fly. Now, uh, Mr. Winchell is correct. He, he doesn't need me to indict Homeland Security. The 9-11 Commission already did that. The American public certainly doesn't need to hear it from me. No, what Homeland Security could really use from me or others, uh, preferably others, is a little help. Why not get it? I'm sure Tom Ridge is a very nice man, capable too, as is Michael Chertoff, but I can get 20,000 songs on my iPod. We have geniuses in this country, true pioneers of innovation. Steve Jobs, uh, Stephen Wozniak, Steve Ballmer, if we could just round up some of our best Steves. We've got kids in garages inventing Google and YouTube. Jets can not only fly by computer, but they can now uh, take off and land on autopilot. Should we truly be stumped by this no-fly computer list? How about something so simple as issuing a flyer's license? It could have your picture, uh, fingerprints. You show it, scan the card in your fingers at the gate. If it's a match, you get your aisle seat. This can't be undoable. Expensive, maybe. But judging from recent spending patterns, we've got billions to throw around. Halliburton alone has profited over 10 billion from the war. Maybe we could get them to kick in. Why is it our government leaders only tap into the private sector for campaign contributions or to pass out contracts to cronies. Bill Gates is out there. Paul Allen. Has anybody called them? I bet Mark Cuban would personally fund the computer upgrades if you gave him free publicity. Is it really against national policy to think outside the box? This isn't about uh, beating up on Homeland Security. Everybody knows they're trying. I'm sure they're good people. But they simply cannot dispatch a representative to this courtroom to say the problem isn't fixable, while thousands of Americans are being denied due process. It so easily has to be fixable. And in the meantime, my client sits here today, a law-abiding man, grounded, while Bella lays writhing in Maui. Too long? <laughs>